the NTD community at large is, is benefiting from now the new evidence coming from the research which has been supported by the small grant. The grant itself has enabled the upcoming research professionals to do unique research which brings additional evidence which eventually drives policy. Africa. When I started working, my first job, I was in the lab. We had a patient. I was the only one in the lab. I will never forget that experience. She's a young girl and I was awoke work in the middle of Nenhai to, to test her for malaria. And it was very high density. We lost that girl. No, it's like not, it's then anything to do for this poor community because it was one of the most rural areas in Benin. And this is what got me into the research field because if you do something on and prevent them getting the disease in the first place, then you make sure it will be successful than if you wait for them to get sick and treat them. Findings from any given research study, for example, if I'm to talk about my own study, it's historically based on suffering from neglect of body diseases. And therefore, it's through a funded research that findings that are impactful and uh, draw out recommendations that can be adapted and that can uh, inform various policies it really goes a long way to improve the community's well being, increase their productivity. Therefore, research funding I mean, trickles down to ensuring that um, the, the community's well being is, is really well taken care of. <laughs> 